Another transformation that we have to do sometimes is to remove duplicates from our data and usually that involves removing duplicates from the entire data table which means that before you use the remove duplicate option in Power Query you have to ensure that first you highlight all the columns. So if I select one column now and before you can highlight all columns by pressing Ctrl A on your keyboard you need to actually physically click on the column first because the fact that the column is highlighted does not mean that it is selected. So before you use Ctrl A to highlight all columns, make sure that you click on the particular column, then press Ctrl A. It is going to highlight all your columns for you. And usually if you want to find out if you have duplicates from your data or duplicates in your data, when you highlight all columns like this, you can go to the Home tab and you are going to see where you have Keep Rows. If you click on the drop down for Keep Rows, you can select Keep Duplicates. And that is going to show you that you have some duplicate value. So you can see that Row 1 and Row 2 here are exactly the same thing all the way throughout all the columns. That's what makes that duplicate record. So that's how you can know if you have duplicate records in your data set. And if you want to remove them, I need to first remove this my kept duplicate step. If you want to remove duplicates, you follow the exact same procedure. Make sure you have the column selected or a column selected. Press Ctrl A on your keyboard. And if you go to the Home tab where you have Remove Rows, you can click on the drop down for Remove Rows and select Remove Duplicates. Alternatively, you can just right click on the header of any of the columns that you have highlighted and then you go to select the remove duplicate option and those duplicated values are going to be automatically removed from your data.